What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we spent a good amount of time in the underground, uh, the grand underground and all that crud, and well, now it is time for us to go ahead and go to the gym again. We gotta get our swell on, and, uh, I think my team's ready. Uh, I think you guys already know that off-screen, I did capture a few Pokemon down underground and all that crud, and, yeah, raised the levels of some of my Pokemon, so now... It's time to get down to business right here. Okay, so here we are, the Eterna City Gym. And, well, hello, hello there. The Green Ranger herself is waiting for us. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her. At my gym, no one gets the battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beaten all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. Whatever you say. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do cred. Hmm. Hmm. So it's very, uh, it's very, uh, nature -y. It's very, uh, yeah, leafy. Anywho, yeah, let's go right ahead and just defeat all these people now. As you can see, no gym leader, but I am the gym leader. Nobody's getting a badge because they can't beat me. So let's go right ahead and start battling everybody in here. And I do see somebody, so let's go right ahead and find her right here. And talk to her and, uh, have our battle. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so anywho... Anywho, guys, um, as I'm currently recording this, it is uh, Christmas Eve. I want to say I'm very, very thankful for all of you guys. I know that I didn't really do anything for the anniversary of my uh, my channel. We're up to 11 years here on YouTube, and it, this couldn't be done without you guys. Obviously, 10K subscribers has been achieved in 10 years, so that's like a thousand a thousand a year, and uh, we can only get better right here, guys. So thank you guys again. Merry Christmas, and well, let's just continue on with the battle right here. Now, the other, there's another thing too: goals for 2022. Holy crud! Oh, I got a lot of I got a lot of things in store for you guys. A lot. I'm learning a lot. Trust me. I know things. I do. It may sound like I'm a bonehead, but I know things. Anywho, we defeated Caroline. Caroline, and uh, she is not having it. So. Uh, the next trainer, okay, the next trainer is at the end, past two boulders, I think, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go back and forth in this area right here, just to find all the trainers. I think there's a total of three or four, and uh, let's see, two boulders. I've seen one upstairs, but let's see, we can go up here, and uh, let's see, there's nothing right here, okay. Could be blind, I don't know, I am getting up there in age. <laughs> Oh, there, there, there's one. Yeah, some people call me uh, old man already, and I'm just like, what the hell? Seriously. Okay, so let's go downstairs right here. Two boulders, and uh, well, here's the next individual. Let's go right ahead and battle now. Um, yes, this area right here, you can actually defeat uh, all the grass type, uh, grass type Pokemon with flying types, ice types, uh, fire types. Hell. There's that occasional grass type Pokemon that's also a poison type. Don't be afraid to use a psychic type Pokemon on him. I got it all covered, guys. Okay, so there we go. Flame Wheel for the win. And uh, Crab Baskets, yes, you have to be careful of that because there is a poison point of situation right there. And well, there we go. And we are poisoned, you a hole, you. And well, let's see. We are going to be taking on another Pokemon, and that is Badoo. So let's go right ahead and go to the Pokemon that will not physically hurt him. Let's go to Ultra Psycho. Yeah, buddy. Ultra Psycho. Now, I have been getting quite a few, uh, a few comments. You know, some of you guys are like, okay, what kind of team are you going to have? Very simple, guys. Uh, very diverse team. Very diverse team. As I'm learning how to play this game and all that crud, Kind of feels like I want to do two teams, maybe three. I think I can do it. I don't know. It, it could happen. And well, she's coming out with another Badoo, so let's go straight ahead and go for another, uh, you know, Side Shock and all that. Right, so here we go, Side Shock, and uh, there we go. Say goodbye to Badoo, and then hopefully, you know, our Badoo will actually grow. And uh, just like that, we defeated another Aroma Lady, and well, yeah. She ain't too happy right here. So, let's see. Oh, that's right. A hint about the next trainer. In the middle of the three trees, that's it for my hint. Good luck. 
Man, they're really not good at hinting you with anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and use an antidote, and bam, Infernomon is uh, ready to go right here. All right, let's go ahead and find that next trainer now. I think, again, it's three to four trainers, probably, and uh, it could be one right around here somewhere. Let's see. Ah, yes, I see you. I will destroy you. Right there. Okay, three trees. Let's go. Conceal behind the trees and all that crud. Okay. Bring it. She's got one Pokemon, so that usually means a strong one. And here she comes out with a Turtwig. Holy crud. Turtwig. Now, if you guys don't remember, I actually had them uh, back in Pokemon Platinum. Hell, I've been getting a lot of comments on my on my, on my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. They're like, hey, where are the legendary challenges? Well... Uh, that, that that's that's very simple, guys. Uh, if you guys want an explanation for that, now, if you guys remember back in February, I wanted to finish up some stuff that you know I didn't finish in the walkers, like you know the legendary capturings and whatnot. I kind of did it, and uh, I kind of did it, but there was a little situation with Pokemon Platinum, and that was that you know good old Draven. Yes, this clone kid right here forgot. Well, didn't forget. He just may or may have not accidentally deleted the the whole game. You know, the playthrough and all that stuff. So my progress has been messed up. And maybe, just maybe, I might have to start all over again with, uh, you know, the adventure. So, yeah, that's kind of a... Yeah, that's kind of a, my bad right there. That's, a, that's my bad on me. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh... Will I eventually get to to it? I, I'm trying my hardest, guys. I, I am. I think I do have a save file somewhere where I don't have to go through the whole adventure. Because trust me, guys. If there's anything, if there's any region out there that I kind of don't like, it's, it's Sinnoh. I do not know. It's the Sinnoh region that kind of just bugs me a little. <laughs> it's kind of funny that, you know, we're, I'm kind of saying this and I'm playing a game in Sinnoh. But in Pokemon Platinum, there's just a buttload of stuff that you need to do. And, well... <laughs> Yeah, uh, like some may say, I may a little be maybe a little lazy, but you know, it's it, it, trust me, guys. Do you do try playing Pokemon Platinum uh, in its entirety? Finish it off in a full week, especially with the schedule like I I do. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a flying type of, uh, attack for Toxic Batman, so we're gonna have to steer off that for a bit. All right, here we go. We're about to take on the gym leader. I'm yawning because I know exactly what's gonna happen. Bring it! Look at the clouds. There she is. Look at her chibi form, Gardena. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardena, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Uh, let's have our battle. Well, I do piss excellence every time I wake up, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. Alrighty, so. Here we go, taking on uh, one of our girlfriends right here, Gardena, or Gardenia, and she is coming out with a Cherubi. Okay, Cherubi, you don't look so scary at all. You're not scary. Alrighty, here we go. Bring it. Flame Wheel for the win, and good thing for us that, you know, we have 25 PP on this thing right here. So, Flame Wheel finishes it off. You will not, and I mean you will not lay a single freaking hit on me. And look at that, my Pokemon are growing levels. Gattaca. And, well, let's see. She's about to come out with a Turtwig. <laughs> I'm not as scared. I'm not as scared of a Turtwig. Bring it. Flame Wheel for the win. And a Turtwig has been defeated, yes. Yes, you see, this is... This right here is the benefit of having the fire type as your starter in Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond right here. Look at that. Look at that. She's about to come out with a Rose Raid. Now, this is a scary thought. It's not the end yet. You don't think. So here comes Rose Raid, the evolved form of Rose uh, Roselia. And uh, yeah, this Pokemon uh, is supposed to be strong. And here comes a Stun Spore. Now, that was out of pocket right there. That was uh, kind of messed up. Here we go, Flame Wheel for the win. Oh crap, Baskets, okay. And just like that, that Rose, Rose Raid is healing up, so here I am taking a gamble. And uh, Gardenia is like, are you saying something? You think you have me concerned? Probably, all right. So here comes a Grass Knot. Now this is weight -based, uh, a weight-based attack, and well, it took quite a few damage right there. So here we go, Flame Wheel. 
finish it. And there we go. Now, I may have messed up with the hole, not lay a finger on me, but yet we still won, and every single one of my Pokemon grow level. That's right. Gattaca. Alrighty. Okay. We are accomplished. And amazing, you're very good, aren't you? Look at her. Oh my god. She looks she looks like one of my clients who's like a total Disney person. She's like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Man, she is excited for us. Get yourself a girl like Gardenia, seriously. Okay, so I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's the measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Bam! We got ourselves our next badge, and we're going to have to polish this crap out of our Force badge and, well, our Coal badge, too. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so with the Force badge, the Hidden Move Cut will be available in your Pokétech. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you receive in trades will obey up to, to level 30. I've also got something else for you. These are a gift for me. Stickers from Gardenia uses. Oh, yeah, okay. And TM86s. You can't go wrong with that. And, yes, each TM86 contains Grass Knot. It's one of my favorite moves. It, the heavier the opponent or the opposing Pokemon, the more damage the move will cause. Hmm. Look at that. Beware, Snorlax. Beware, Whalmer. Yep, if there's a one thing I can tell you about this, it, it is uh, you your Pokemon are gonna get even tougher, and I mean seriously. Alrighty, okay, approval. Something that I work for, something that I strive for. Okay, so we are two badges heavier, two badges stronger. Man, I feel like, uh, feel like uh, such a champ right here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so that right there is the conclusion of our second battle. Um, we are now allowed to use Cut, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our trainer card right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this. Look at that, 40 Pokemon already, and we started on my sister's birthday, and uh, let's see. Oh, huh! <laughs> I didn't even see that part. Okay, so you learn things every single day, and here we have two badges now. How do we... How do we squeaky clean the... Oh, okay. Never mind. We're going to have to do this like when I'm holding the, 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 the switch right here. So, anywho, that is pretty much it right there, guys, for this episode. I know. Another short one. In the next one, we are going to be finding the bicycle guy because, yeah, we kind of need a bicycle and all that crud. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.